Hold on. I can't believe this. You, this is the woman who, who is the, who is going to be world famous once the, the death and life of Marsha P. Johnson comes into being because she is the one who single-handedly got the, the autopsy report, talked to the creep, the, the six priests who said, are you an attorney? No. No, he right? Goes, yeah, but like, don't try to be a, don't try to be an investigator. Hi, George. <laughs> now, George Heath, you're going to see a video. Let me tell you about George Heath. He is a, someone who has been, had all kinds of convictions in the past. Oh, okay. I was just in court. He's a lawyer by prescription. He has string law degrees, and he's not allowed to even be administrator of this estate oh. because he supposedly is a felon. Although his felony, you said all your felony commissions yeah, have been overturned? Well, yeah. But you know, he spent a few years, how many years? You spent a lot of years I in jail. I spent a lot of years in the jail. Yeah, right. Yeah. And he was a bank robber, murderer, whatever, but he. He, he was no murderer. He's like, yeah. No, no, he <laughs> told me he was. He no. wasn't, no. You they, 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 they I just gave a to paper him. to David France. I'm going to Sweden next month with the film. Great. And they asked me to write a paper, so I wrote it. I it's, brought it to them. What did you get out of that film? What do you, you mean? You don't have to tell. I got sixteen thousand dollars for my. They paid me well, but they treated me terribly. They made me look like a toothless old cripple <laughs> and a collapsed hoarder. You know, I was not at all. But people say that basically don't agree with me on that. People that like Rusty Maymore yeah. and, and Chelsea, they you know. But he did highlight activity that had previously been. Been, you, did not, uh, right. or people didn't have access right, to right. it. Right, right. And I think the real value of your film is your film is really the follow-up to Pay It No Mind because yeah, you pick up where Pay It No Mind uh, laid, laid off. I say over here, I want to tell her what the story is about you. But can you imagine? He is because he supposedly is an ex-felon and has law degrees. Did we say how many, what, what law degrees? Just three. To, I quick. Push I specialize. NYU, NYU was one. Yeah. And Mar tell them. Mar Marist College. And what other? I've, I've been. I know. School. I don't want these general. I, I want. But the fact of the matter is that. What are you gonna he, do with he, that? He, yeah. You know what? He I, can do pro bono work for the law society, but he has very modest income. He's on SSI, okay. not SSI, uh, Social Security. Very minor. Tell me a whole story. Yeah, did you to me? And and no, 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 no. I'm trying to. I'll say. Okay. Because the thing is, we don't want people to know how he looks. Doesn't he look like a million dollar he lawyer? Does, he does. And guess what? You Are you taping you think, this? Yeah, I am. Do you think that he has more in common with you or with me? Let me get in the movie. Now, who do you think he has more eth ethnicity in common with? Is he an advocate? Uh, so that's what we have in common if he's an advocate. No, what it is is he and I are mainly Irish. His mother was 100% Irish, and my father was 100% Irish. Okay, well, I got and, no Irish blood. And, and, his, and his, 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 his father was a, mixture, was a mixture of Cherokee, Indian, and African American. Oh, okay. And he was, he was the jailhouse lawyer for the Dog Day Afternoon guy, which is he's, he's a picture of oh, him for, with a beautiful dog? Afro, gorgeous Afro. He had tits and everything else, but oh, now yeah. he's a he's a man. With Liz, I knew Liz Eden. Yeah, I knew her. Right, right. I knew Liz, and I knew Dog too. He lived with he lived with the dog's family. Yeah. With them after he got like, he got the tell him what you did for the dog. Well, I got him out of jail. jail. Yeah, I got you got his, his se one. sentences reduced to what? His money from Warner Brothers. And sentence reduced for what? Twenty. From, from twenty, and he was in the street and. Um, 73, 72 months. Because the judge, it was so outrageous, they had given him like how many years? 20 years 20 for, years. for something I don't, it should have been no more than maybe four or five. Okay. But it was a hanging judge, and he had a, a pro bono lawyer who actually paid him $5,000 to plead guilty. He said, if you'll plead guilty, I'll give Liz the 5000 she needs to finish the operation. Uh, and I gave out a flyer about it in court. He, he was burned up. I was very involved in that case, believe me. So in a way, actually, I negotiated the contract with the, for the movie with the producer. Mm. And he's been now, they offered him $20,000 three years ago just to get rid of him. 
but he claims that they owe him 185,000 and I mean, but I'm saying it's, it's, it all goes down to that if you are considered a felon, the reason they wouldn't give him the money he was entitled to is because they considered him a criminal. Okay. And even though his crime had nothing to do with Dog Day Afternoon, although yeah. bank robbery was one of the things you supposedly were convicted of at one point, they decided, well, we're not going to give the money. He challenged the son of Sam Law the first time, and it ultimately was overturned using many of the arguments that he had raised on it. And his, they teach law castles sometimes for weeks about stuff that he fought. That's good. So though. what's happening with you besides going? I'm going to, to Sweden. Wow, on, that's great. And then to uh, Shreveport, Louisiana next month. Oh, darling. On the with the film, so and, and then it, the film is going to come out in uh, late October, uh, mid November. They're going to have screenings for the um, Trans World of Remembrance. Oh. So Netflix is so, letting it out. Oh, Netflix is going to yes. be putting it out. When? Yeah. Um, Just the, guessing. The Trans you... World of Remembrance, I think it's November 13th. Oh, great. So cause... they're having a lot of organizations. They get permission for the organization to show the film. Oh, fabulous. And they fly me to Sweden You know what the they 24th. had? Did you ever see Lost in the Crowd? I think it was called. It was by Susie Gaff. And they had one showing down at an at a auditorium over on... Uh -huh. in the village, I think it belongs to NYU, and it was for trans people, it was mainly for they trans people. They had a, and it was a all celebration free. for Marsha, uh, 25th anniversary. I filmed all that, I filmed all that and put it all up. When but you Susie, were there, yeah. I didn't see you on the pier, 45. Yes, I saw you. I filmed I you talking. You. Oh, okay. I don't know whether or not, I forget what I put up, I put up a flow in the flowers in the water. Yeah. I put up the prayer. I put up the incredible woman that Dance that came dance. I think, from oh, Mississippi. Yes. Yes. What an incredible thing! And I, I, I really skipped some of the people that were lip syncing because uh -huh. when you put videos like that up on YouTube, they knock them down for copyright infringement. Yes, it's why I'm putting everything that I own, all my writing, all my video, in the public domain upon my death. Good. I do it I now, but good. I might need some. God knows if I live to be. 95, I'll be bankrupt. Well, I got your number. Once I get back from Europe, I'll let you know. And when okay. will that be? Uh, I'm, we're coming back on the 1st. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going down to Washington. To a, I'm building a monument to Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. I'm putting a stone in Congressional Good. Cemetery with their pictures on it, like they do in the Middle East. It'll uh -huh. be the first transgender monument specifically to Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia, Sylvia Rivera. Rivera. And also, I'm also starting to suggest they put the Marsha B. Johnson poem by Bobby Miller on a bronze plaque. Do something to put people of color. What are they doing with that park over there in Sheridan Square? In Sheridan Square. They should put something That's there. That's what I'm suggesting. Is they put at least a bronze plaque there with Bobby Miller's poem to Marsha B. Johnson. It's a uh -huh. great one. I'll send it to well, you. Or even a statue of Marsha Sylvia. I looked into that. I was, gonna, I was gonna find that statue of Marsha throwing the shot glass in the, in the mirror. I'll tell you off camera why. First, the cost was $150,000, which was beyond belief, yeah. and it didn't include Sylvia. And then I found out something I'll tell you after the camera's off, just that you and I will know. So anyway, I'm gonna end this interview here because I've run okay, on too Okay, my long. darling, it was nice running into you. Oh, I can't wait to see you. you again. What are we gonna have? Maybe I could take you out on a date somewhere. I mean, they won't know who I am. They'll say, <laughs> look at that, look at that. No, what? after That's... after November, forget about it. It's going to be 190 countries and 18 languages. For that movie. For that it's movie. It's going to really tell the story. Mm -hmm. So when you talk, you really should give them the, the thing that I have in my pocket, the button about Marsha B. Johnson. I, I that, got my button. Yeah, that they can see, pay it no mind for free. Uh -huh. If you do that on your site, they can see it for free on the Internet. Because I think that actually... That has the emotional punch. punch Yours yeah. is a wonderful depiction. Of, you brought it up After, today. Yeah. Because you're talking about how well, the day the, I the same. I feel there's, a, there's something coming. There's a sequel coming. Who knows? They might pick it up. Well, you now know? I, I'm, I'm also waging a campaign for St. Marcia B. Johnson to be the first transgender saint That's in the cool. Roman Catholic Church. I now call her St. Marcia B. Johnson. I remember you I said that in your home. I talk about channeling her energy that she's a wind beneath my wings. So, do you, are you on Facebook at all? No, I'm old school child. I don't want to be getting into that mess. Oh, Everybody's you'd be surprised. At, at each other. I know what well, that. I get it from my friends. Look, look this up, look this up. But if I'm there, I'm very opinionated. And if I give my opinions, I know I'm going to get back. Oh, darling, I stuck my head out and defended the statue of, of Robert E. Lee 
because I looked up the facts. After the Civil War, he devoted his life, he said they shouldn't have Confederate flags. He devoted his life putting journalism and engineering and something else in Washington College, which is now Washington and Lee, and he spent the rest of his life trying to bring back together the country that he had had a war against. And these crazy people are saying he's a, a traitor, he should have been shot. And they the fact the is fact. that some they of before the and facts. Some, and, and it's, I'm against violence. The idea of tearing down a statue is for the city to decide to have a civil debate, not by mob, right. mob rule. And if they want to have to move the statue, then put it in a Confederate well, graveyard. We're it's all feeling the, like we're the all 60s the bad all over generals. again, baby. Oh, tell me. And yes, say Sheridan, is, he was the mass killer of Indians. And do you know that he had way he killed, way he won over the Indians? He killed off all the buffalo. There were only 1,000 yeah, left. So, they would so he was a mass killer, and he almost exterminated bison. Only one small, I think it was 1,000 or 1,200 yeah. that were left yeah. in Yellowstone. Yeah, they killed their so food, one, and they died. And you know, in this city, we have more Native American people working in trades like construction and all mm -hmm. than anywhere in the world. So let's get the Native Americans to go down and peacefully demonstrate against, against the Sheridan. The Sheridan criminal. Yeah. Well, we got so much of it.